Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Gear and Beer where we talk about adventure motorcycle gear all while enjoying a beer with each other. Today's episode, we're talking about the Cardo Pack Talk Bold JBLs. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you about some of the features of these, what makes these stand apart from others on the market, and watch till the end where you can learn how to get 20% off your next purchase. Stay tuned. Today's beer is a Sockeye Dagger Falls IPA. If you know me, once again, I love IPAs. They're my favorite beer. Um, and I will switch to something else here pretty soon, but I just wanted to feature this beer. It's out of Boise, Idaho from Sockeye Brewing. It's another really good IPA. So um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and pour this one out and get to the review. Cheers. Okay, so the Pack Talk Bold JBL version here on the table. I have the original Pack Talks. They look nearly identical. The only real difference is some of the markings. Uh, the original Pack Talk just says Pack Talk on it, and the new one, the Bold, has the Bold indicator here. This is the JBL version, and what you get in that, we'll go ahead and unbox it here. Um, a lot of the features are nearly all the same. The new firmware, they all operate the same. What you really get out of the JBL version is the sound quality. It is insane how much better the JBL version sounds than the original one with the original speakers. So we'll start to unbox this. I love Cardo's packaging. They do a really good job. Not that I'm like really weird about packaging, but when you open a box and it just looks good, you know that you're getting what you pay for. So uh, the box opens up, this is a dual pack. It's got two uh, pack talk bolds in it. And uh, again, it just, the presentation is awesome. I, I don't know, I'm just kind of weird about that kind of thing. But taking this out, taking these out, you've get uh, a, a Cardo sticker. You get your quick guide, your pocket guide, which tells you how to use all of these things. Uh, your actual instruction manual. And then you get all of your headphones and uh, all your attachments basically to, to make this go onto your helmet. You also get two microphones in here. You get a boom style mic, which uh, can go inside your helmet pretty much anywhere. And then you, obviously it's adjustable to wherever you want it. And then you uh, get a stick on mic as well that sticks on inside uh, the chin bar of your helmet. I honestly, the, so the, the stick on ones is nice because it's always out of the way, but I actually prefer the boom mic because you can move the microphone a little closer to your mouth. I just noticed that sometimes the other mic, uh, it might sound good at first. And then as you're going down the highway or whatever else, uh, your buddy can't hear you sometimes. And it's nice to have the boom mic to be able to move them. With these speakers here that come with it, you can be heading down the highway 70, 80 miles an hour and you can hear these things just fine. There's been times where, you know, if I don't have earplugs in, I actually have to turn the volume down at highway speed just because they're too loud. So moving on with the unboxing, you get a 3M stick-on attachment that goes on the outside of your helmet. And then you also get a clip-on version that slides up in between your liner. And basically what you can do is you just remove this clip if you wanna use the stick-on version and it's kind of a, a permanent fix. The, the clip-on, can you can move it from helmet to helmet. Um, there's, there's give and take on both of these. The, the, the clip-on is nice because it is easy to remove it and go from one helmet to another. Uh, but there's just one thing that, and maybe it's just me, but sliding this in between the liner and separating that liner from the shell just seems a little bit weird to me. I'm sure it's perfectly okay. I just prefer to have the stick on the, the stick on uh, attachment because I don't I don't move it from helmet to helmet. I keep it on one helmet. In this uh, cradle here, you have your headphone jack and also your microphone jack that plugs in. The cool thing about Cardo too is that if for one, if for whatever reason you wanted to use earbuds or any other type of uh, speaker that has a three millimeter, three point five millimeter attachment, you can plug those in directly. They're not; it's not a proprietary connection. You can use any three point five millimeter, which is which is super nice. In addition to the attachments, you get some alcohol swabs. 
you get these little Velcro spacers. Some helmets have really deep um, ear pockets and these allow you to get the speakers a little bit closer to your ear if you need to. Uh, here's that stick on microphone that goes into the chin bar like I talked about. And then you get your charging cord. We'll move all this stuff out of the way and then we'll get into the features of the Cardos. Okay, so some of the features of this little guy here. So battery life is amazing. Like I can go, I'm not exactly sure what the actual Cardo stated specs are, but I'm gonna give you what my specs are based off my use. I have used these for four to five years and the original pack, the original pack talks, I could get 12, 10, 12 hours out of them, no problem. So literally an all day ride, listening to music, uh, talking to my buddy, no problems at all. The new Bold, I think the battery, battery life is even better. I can go 12 hours for sure listening to, again, music, chatting, and, and not have uh, the battery indicator that let me know that it's, uh, it's time to charge the thing. Another thing that I wanna to mention too is that when the battery indicator comes on in your helmet and says low battery, you can easily get another hour, hour and a half out of that. I, it's crazy, like the, the battery life on these is amazing. I mean, like I said, you can, you can bank on getting 12 hours every time. Another cool feature about these is that you and a buddy can be riding together, you can be listening to your music on, off of your phone and your headset, he can be listening to his music and his headset, and you can still talk to each other at the same time without any interruption. Your music just, the volume goes down while you talk, and as soon as it's silent again, the volume comes back up. It's one of my favorite features of it. To listen to music and have a conversation at the same time, it's pretty cool. Another thing you can do is if you have a passenger, you can actually share your music from your one device into both devices. So you and your passenger can listen to the same song at the same time and have a conversation at the same time, which is just, it blows my mind. One of the things that really makes these stand apart is that they are the Cardo is the first company to um, incorporate Siri and Hey Google into their commands. So real quick, Cardo has this awesome voice command system so that you never have to touch the thing. You can say, hey Cardo, call so-and-so if you wanted to do it that way or change song or anything like that, right? Any, any voice command. But you also have all the features that say Siri has. So you can say, hey Siri, call my wife. Hey Siri, text so-and-so. And, -so. and it'll, it'll do that for you using the Siri commands, which is, again, really, really useful when you want to um, use your phone without having to take off your gloves or just while you're going down the road really a safe way to use your phone without having to pull it out or touch the screen, take your hands off the handlebars or off the road while you're, while you're going down the road. So huge, huge leaps and bounds on this uh, Cardo Pack Talk Bold versus what used to be only just a few years ago. So Cardo has been around for years, I think 16 years. They are the first company to ever come up with a hands-free Bluetooth device that attaches to your phone into your helmet. Cardo is the one who introduced this to the world. In 2004, they came out with their first hands-free device for helmets, and since then have just made them better every single time they come out with something new. Most recent, their biggest breakthrough was the DMC mesh technology. Now, a lot of older devices use Bluetooth, which is fine, but you have to be within a certain range for those to work essentially. If that range is, gets too far away, then you lose connection. The DMC mode on these can go easily you know, two miles at line of sight and then you know around corners and, and, and obstacles it works very well also. One of the coolest things about these is with the DMC mode, each device can pair 15 other devices. So this one can have 15 cardos on board, this one can have 15 cardos on board, this one can have 15 cardos and, and so on. And as you're going down the road, say, you know, this buddy needs to break off. If you're all paired in the same group and this one breaks off, there's no lack. There's no like there's no more daisy chain where this one just with this guy, if this guy breaks off, these two now are no longer connected. 
If this guy breaks off, they just mesh back into the network and then keeps going. It's, it's very, very seamless. And that is probably my favorite thing about the Cardos is that they are so easy to use. In the past, I've owned Senna and I sent, again, Senna is a great product, but there's a reason that people know of the Senna dance or the connection dance, right? Because so many times you connect your devices together, you turn them off, you turn them back on and they're not connected anymore. Now, maybe that's changed in the newer models, but with the Cardos, I can pair all my Cardos together, use them all at once, use these at once, use any combination of the ones, and as soon as I come back and use them all again, they're all paired again. I never have to worry about having to repair them. So for people like me who do snow bike tours, adventure bike tours, stuff like that, and if you don't have a headset, I, I can loan you one of these on the tours, you're always connected, and I never have to worry about fumbling with trying to connect the headset devices with the customer. I can just set them and forget it, basically. Now, in comparing the original Cardo Pack Talk to the Pack Talk Bold, you can get all the same firmware on these two devices as you can on the Bold. So the Hey Cardo, all that stuff can be firmware updated to the old ones, which is really cool. But what you really get out of the new one is the sound quality. The JBL sound quality, it's just off the chart when you compare these two together. The Pack Talk Bolds sound good. They are loud until you compare it to a Bold. When you compare it to a Bold, it's insane, the, the difference. You can go in, you can adjust your equalizers, you can have uh, it more focused on voice or on music, and the speakers are just awesome. Now, there is an upgrade to the speakers that you can get for the JBLs that are a little bit larger size. So now you can see the difference in size of the upgraded JLB, JBL version versus the ones that come with. Don't get me wrong, these original JBL speakers that come with your Pack Talks are amazing, but if you're looking for extremely good bass and sound, upgrade to the, the, uh, the larger JBL version, and I tell you, it, it makes all the difference. Um, those speakers, I highly recommend getting those because uh, at 70, 80 miles an hour, you can have those things cranked up, and you can't even turn them all the way up, they're so loud at that at highway speed it's it's nuts and the sound quality is just so good it's like having you know airpods or bose headphones or whatever you want to compare them to a good quality headphone in your helmet and that a lot of times has been in the past some of the downsides to some of these even though they have awesome connectivity the sound quality isn't that great the new ones it is amazing you will be blown away so who is the Pack Talk Bold JBL for? Really anybody. If you like listening to tunes in your helmet, pick up a, back talk, a Pack Talk Bold. If you like writing with people and like having a conversation, side note real quick, you know how it is when you go and you ride with somebody and you have to stop every you know, few miles to like communicate with that person. It is a complete pain. With this Pack Talk Bold, you can have conversations throughout the entire time of your ride you can say, oh, look at that. Oh, hey, did you see that? Things like that. Hey, watch out for this pothole. Hey, watch out for the stick in the road. What, whatever you need to say. It, the safety factor is awesome. And then just to be able to have conversations. I personally, you know, without getting, without getting too private on you, I've had some of the best conversations with my friends talking through these things. Because when you're on the motorcycle and you've got nothing else going on besides just riding, you know, you can have conversations about whatever, and you know, it's just, it's very, in a way, kind of therapeutic. So now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pair these. Again, I got my Pack Talk bolts here, I've got my regular Pack Talks here, it doesn't matter. Um, you, can you can pair any Cardo device together uh, using this DMC mode here, or even a Bluetooth mode. So first off, we'll turn them all on. And once they're all on, you'll notice that there's a green light flashing that indicates that it's in DMC mode. If the light was blue, it would be in uh, Bluetooth mode. So first, just make sure that they're all in DMC mode and they are. Now you're gonna pick a master. We'll call this the master. 
We'll hold this uh, intercom button down for five seconds. You'll notice it starts to flash. Now we'll do the same thing on all the others. So we called this the master. Now all we do is push this one time. You'll see that it's flashing red and green. This one's paired. This one's paired. And now this one's paired. You'll see now, now they have slow flash green and this one's still flashing green and red. This one's waiting for any more you wanna do. If you want, if you, want you can just leave it alone and it'll eventually time out or you can hold it down for five seconds. Turns purple and now they're all paired. Simple as that. Now, whenever you just go and you use them, these people can go do their thing, they're meshed together. These people can go do their thing, they're meshed together. When they come in together, they're all meshed. And no matter what, every time you come back together, they will always work. That is my absolute favorite thing about the Cardo Pack Talks is that they just work whenever you want them to. Okay guys, once again, this was kind of a down and dirty review of these. So if you have any questions at all, please hit me in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions I possibly can on these. I've had the Cardo Pack Talks for years now, so I'm pretty versed on how they work, what the capabilities are, and also some of the shortcomings if any really, and but uh, ask me questions and I'll, I'll definitely answer what I can. If you're looking for just the pack talk and you're trying to save a little bit of money, some websites out there still have a few of the pack talks available, but really I would suggest going with the bolds. You're gonna have way better sound quality and you get a lot more just bang for your buck with that. Also, as I said in the beginning of the video, if you're looking for a way to get a discount on these, check out the link below in the description where you'll save 20% off any of your purchase through their website. So click on the link, it'll take you to their website, add whatever you want to your cart, and you'll get a 20% off coupon code automatically added onto that. If you already have the Pack Talk Bolds and you're looking to upgrade the, to, the, to the larger headphones, this is an excellent opportunity to save a little money to do that. Once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, thank you for joining me for gear and beer. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, as well as that bell icon. That way you know when new videos like this get uh, released. And cheers. Enjoy the rest of your beer. Thanks for watching.